In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use AI to give feedback on a document that you wanna submit, such as a review or a research article. So this is using Yomu AI, and I will have a link below to Yomu AI and a discount code if you're interested in it as well. What I've already done is paste a review article that's already been submitted and published into Yomu AI. And what I want to work on today is using its give feedback feature. So I want it to give me feedback on this article. So I'm going to go into document AI down here. This is going to be your button for doing things that you want the entire document to be context for, not just a simple area like text generation. And this has multiple things in here, including write introduction, write conclusion, give feedback, write abstract, and create summary. What we want to use today is the give feedback button. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. It'll take it a few minutes. And then once it's done, it will have a feedback panel over here. And there's going to be a few different things. It's going to tell you the strengths of your paper, the areas for improvement, and then overall um, summary of its feedback. So what it says is the strengths. The introduction provides a clear overview of the topic and sets the foundation for the discussion. The text is well structured with relevant headings and subheadings to guide the reader. So this I find a little bit interesting because I didn't use like Yomue's eyes native heading feedback. So like you can see here, this is all just text. You can change these to heading one, heading two, heading three. And I didn't do that here. And yet it's still saying that it has heading and subheadings, which it does have, but it's identifying those even though I'm not using the native features of that. And then the use of figures and diagrams helps illustrate and clarify the complex concepts and processes. So while I have mentions to the figures in here, I don't actually have any figures in here. There's no actual images or tables in here. So it's, it's kind of really just pulling from the text and not like more of the rich text editing, such as actually having headings and actually having the figures in there as well. The areas for improvement, it says the text could benefit from more specific examples or case studies to demonstrate the application and effectiveness of IA mobility and steroid analysis. This is literally a review article. So I, there's like seven or eight different papers in here where I'm actually talking about the results of the papers. So I find that this is really interesting. This is probably something that you could literally say about any paper, like any paper could benefit from more. So I don't know if that's really a helpful insight. Obviously, if I rewrote this paper, this paper was published in 2020. If I rewrote this paper now, it would have like 10, 15 more papers in it but those weren't available when I published this. So I don't think that this is incredibly helpful at this moment. The conclusion could be strengthened with a clear summary of the main points and their significance in the field. So let me scroll down to the conclusion here with a clear summary of the main points and their significance in the field. That's kind of what a summary is. So I guess it's saying that it needs to be clearer. I would like the areas improvements to be a little bit more specific here instead of, I guess like here it's a little bit general. So what's the main points? I literally kind of go through the entire story here and share what the main points are. So maybe it just needs like a like last paragraph, like a redo of it. I'm not exactly sure how to integrate that improvement. For overall, it says overall, this is a well written and informative piece on the analysis of steroids using eye mobility. The discussion of different types of steroids and their functions is thorough and provides a solid understanding of the topic. Adding more specific examples and case studies could further enhance the reader's understanding and make the text more engaging. Additionally, a clearer summary in the conclusion could help reinforce the main points of discussion. Overall, well done. I think maybe the main points being in like two different paragraphs here. It wants it to be simpler there. And then including more papers, you can't really include more papers if more papers don't exist. So that's kind of the feedback there. I am gonna regenerate the feedback just in case it gives a little bit more specific feedback on the second time. This kind of really changed the feedback. So the title, Steroid Analysis by Mobility, is well-defined and accurately reflects the topic of the article. The introduction is informative and provides background on the different types of types and functions of steroids, as well as the challenges associated with their analysis. The use of figures and diagram enhances the understanding of the subject matter. The strengths is an informative introduction, well-defined and relevant title, and use of figures and diagrams. 
The areas for improvement is the text could benefit from a more structured layout with subheadings to improve readability. So this is interesting because the last time it said that I used subheadings really well. I like this area of improvement a lot. I, there are subheadings, some subheadings in here, but I think the use of more is probably good. Um, some sentences are lengthy and could be broken down for easier understanding. I like this. I think this second report or feedback is a lot better than the first one that I got. What I would love to be able to do, and I know that this is probably asking a lot, is to be able to like say, okay, can you show me areas where this needs feedback? Like, can you show me the lengthy sentences? And then I can go ahead and fix those there. But yeah, I think that I know that I have a like issue in my writing and I tend to compound sentences together instead of kind of making it more clearer. So I think that's something that I could definitely relook at this paper for. And then more references from credible sources could be included to support the information presented. You can see that like my citations are in here. There's actually no references down here at all. I didn't copy in the references. So that's probably a good thing. If you don't have references in here, that's probably a good area improvement. Overall, the article provides a good overview of the use of IM mobility for steroid analysis. However, some improvements can be made in terms of organization and supporting information. Overall, it's a good starting point for further research on the subject. So I will say if you don't like the first feedback it gives, if it's really general the first time, maybe re uh, regenerate that feedback down here. And I find that this is just a lot better of a feedback the second time versus the first time. I also like that they give both the strengths and the areas of improvement. Whenever like I was in school and we were peer reviewing things, we'd always say give three strengths and three weaknesses of whatever you're reviewing. And I really like that that does that here. So overall, this is kind of the introduction to this new feature. And if you're working on a research article and want a structured way to attempt that article, download my scientific research paper checklist. That link will be in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.